CBS News senior national security analyst Fran Townsend is with us. She was Homeland Security and counterterrorism advisor for President George W. Bush. Fran, here we are yet again, another mass shooting. And now that the shooter is killed, walk us through what authorities are doing to try to identify who he was and what his motive could have been. So the first thing they'll do, we know that they're going through the crime scene, right? That bar, that entire bar is a crime scene. They're also trying to keep the witnesses, the victims who are outside, sort of assembled. You'll get the ones who need medical attention first, but they all have to be interviewed. The crime scene has to be gone through. They're tracing the gun right now, right? Is that a weapon that was legally or illegally obtained, and how did he obtain it? They'll take the fingerprints of the dead gunman to try and identify him that way. They'll look for what was on his body, we call pocket litter. Did he, was he carrying anything that would identify him or would give them a clue as to the motive? All of that is what's going on right now to try and make sense of this sort of awful tragedy. And now, Fran, in a two-week period, a synagogue, a yoga studio, a bar that the sheriff said is really a good place, it's not a rowdy location. Right. Do we need to rethink these soft targets? How do you protect soft targets, and do we need to rethink that? Well, Gail, just as you list them, you, you know, it becomes obvious. It's almost impossible to protect every soft target. Um, and in fairness to the bar, the country bar, he, in this case, they had a security guard outside. Right. Now, he wasn't armed. Right. But, you know, we go through active shooter drills. The synagogue had been through an active shooter drill very, you know, like a week or two before the event. We, you know, the Department of Homeland Security does what they can to prepare people for this sort of a eventuality. But look, we ought to be honest. There's a larger issue about guns in this country mm -hmm. that we're going to have to turn our attention to, or we're going to continue to do this every week. And they're saying this was not an assault rifle. It was a handgun. Right. But what we don't know is what kind of a handgun. Yeah. was. It, did it have a so semi-automatic yeah. capability? We don't know enough about it yet. All right, Fran, more questions to come. Thanks so much for being with us.